Hello everyone, welcome to my live stream. My name is Denise Mika Hutchins and I'm broadcasting to you from Studio Mika Arts. It's Friday, which means it's time for Chibi Friday and time to, perhaps with two hours to work on it, finish our third custom emote for Twitch and Discord. So last week we got from brainstorming all the way to this point in the single session. So uh, it seems really likely that we can finish coloring, including coloring the lines and um, even format it into a square and resize it for the different platforms and everything with, with two hours. So let's get started. I've got my big tablet monitor, which I'm bringing down. So if you're hearing some scraping or something, that's like the, I have a, it's funny, it has USB ports on the side of it. And that's how I am able to plug my camera for a physical media streaming into my computer. I plug it into the monitor. Otherwise the cord isn't long enough. <laughs> so that's what that sound is. It's scraping along as I pull it down. Okay, so I am working in Photoshop and we're just doing fairly basic cell style uh, shading and coloring. This is the very first custom emo I made. This character, by the way, is Ranger, the mascot for Studio Meek Arts. She hasn't had much time to shine. She was more just like my little personal, let's say my personal assistant all this time, but now she has a a job to do, which is to be a cute emote for everybody. So I'm using this to pull the colors. I got the base cream color down and the pink tongue. So I'm going to finish doing base colors. Probably the next one I'll do is red. And that is indeed what I did here. So I'm just going to turn off the other layers so that I can see the red and see what is, to me, the base color. Oh, Exy is here, hello, hello, Exy. Ah, you put two. Let me see what this one's called. He he he, a different person's hello, yay. How are you? Yay, thank you for joining me. I was gonna say on Friday, but it's probably Saturday where you are. Okay, I'm going to select the base color, so I usually have the base color is was this one and then I have two shadow colors and a highlight color and then white so I guess you could consider it two highlight colors if you consider the white but um where's my alt button I'm gonna use this oh if it wants to work it doesn't want to work oh it's because I'm not on the brush <laughs> I learned this technique a while ago but I still have not gotten used to it but I'm I'm getting more, it's becoming more and more natural to use the alt button because I have an alt map to my little remote for my, what am I trying to say? My remote for my tablet. And it's much faster than what I always did, which was right click, select the color, and then close that menu. <laughs> it takes away a couple steps if I can remember to do it. Ah, that sucks. Hopefully it will be better. I also had not a bad connection, but a very slow connection last night. It took like twice as long as usual to upload my stream recording. So that's, that's weird. I'm well, sorry I hear that. I hate not having a good internet connection. So much of my life is on the internet. <laughs> and I'm not even that much of an internet person, but it's still so much of it is still on the internet. Okay, so I'm looking to see where her markings are. She's got this little, it's almost like spectacle marks. We could call them spectacle marks along her face and down her nose, on her ears. The eyes are actually a different color though. It's hard to tell here because I turned off the eye color because I had forgotten at first <laughs> that I made it a different red. I'll put that back on so I don't forget. And then she's got this sort of bib going on and then her legs I actually think I'm going to um, let's see this 
I'm going to open my other reference image that has her whole body in it that I drew a long time ago. Let's see, projects and custom ranger emotes. So range of previous images. And this one's the most useful because I colored and drew her digitally. I'll just, I'll bring her over here. She's currently on my secondary monitor, but I'll bring her over here so you can see real quick. I'm gonna use this so that I don't have to keep switching back and forth here and still have the biggest possible space to work in. And I'm just gonna have this over here on my secondary monitor. Boom. Oh, OBS went down though. I mean, not went down, but minimized. <laughs> not went down as in crashed and burned, but got small on my screen so I couldn't see. I like to have that open. I like to have, I mean, of course, open, but I like to have OBS visible so that I can see the little bar that shows me that my mic is working and I can see my video and see that the output is good, etc. So there, I've got that all set up. And now I can see little, little bib and there's even more. Like I don't know if we'd see it on this image. Guess I'll just start coloring and see. There's no legs, so I don't need to worry about the legs. There's no legs on this drawing. And make the size bigger. And it's so nice now that I have got the base color down. Um, not just the base color, but the very most bottom. Ah, why does it do this sometimes? Don't do that, please. Um, <laughs> because I have everything mapped or uh, clipped to this cream layer, cream. And that way, even if I color outside, it just won't show up. So it just makes it a little faster <laughs> to color. Okay, this one is fur red. So we'll put K. That's fur. No, that means belongs to. And then, um, oh, look, it knows. It remembers from last time. Aka, that means red. I decided to just go ahead and type in Japanese. How do I tell it? This is good. This is good, yo. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Um, because in order to have my windows have the things I want in Japanese, but not important things that my level of Japanese isn't high enough, like settings and stuff, I don't have quite enough Japanese to feel confident doing settings in Japanese. So this way, um, but it does make my on-screen keyboard that pops up right here when I'm using my tablet, um, it defaults to Japanese, which is faster. <laughs> Of course, explaining it makes it not faster, but I won't explain it every time. Why? Why do you keep... There, there we go. My pen, my stylus keeps, like, not not connecting or disconnecting. Not disconnecting, but it's just not responding. Okay, now what we want to do is create clippy mask. And now this little icon and the way it's indented here means it's clipped down to this one. And we can color freely. And... This part is also super nice because there's going to be black on top of it anyway, so I can still color really loosely anyway, and then I can erase later. So as you can see here, the black covers this part of the ear, so I don't need to worry about that. It does, um, the red is the end of the, the red meets the cream here. So I will erase back here, but let's just get the most generic shapes on there and then we'll erase back. I really like erasing back when I do digital coloring like this. A wolf is here too, hello! Oh man, I keep doing it. I wave with my hand and like you totally can't see. And now I remember this time at least to wave with my cursor. Hello! <laughs> How are you? Little, little ranger sliding in. Oh, this ranger's gonna join that ranger soon. Hope you're doing well. Are you looking forward to the weekend? I might go to this library event that's going to be happening tomorrow for their reading challenge and 
I've always seen their reading challenge every year, and I'm like, oh, that looks so fun, and then I never do it. But this year, and I don't know when they started this, if it was this year or they started it before, but this year they have, they're working through an, uh, an app, the Beanstack app, which I'd never heard of before, but it's so great. And so I'm actually doing the library reading challenge this year. Because before you just had to track it on paper. And I was like, mm, sorry. <laughs> I can't handle that. There's too many other things. Okay. I got this. We're just doing super basic and we'll erase away. So we've got this. And then. Yeah, just. We might be able to see this little. She's got a sort of V on her chest, too. But then again, once it's... Uh, maybe I should... No, I'll color the whole thing and then I'll clip it. Uh, I will format it into a square afterwards. So let's see. No, stylus, why are you doing this? Stop. It's not detecting my stylus. There we go. So weird why it does that sometimes. It's really bad today. It's, uh, something I really like about the walk home is that the stylus never needs batteries. So that's just like one less thing to worry about. But sometimes it does this. This is definitely the worst it's ever been though. Sometimes it doesn't register. What I do when it does that and it gets stuck and I'm moving it but the circle isn't moving is then I wiggle the mouse around and then it sort of wakes it up somehow. I got this shape. And yeah, I think that at least in this drawing, even though it'll get it'll definitely get cut off. So I think a square will end up cutting off, but we although maybe it wouldn't fit because it's red, black, cream, and then this little V. So actually I don't think it would fit. Okay. I wonder if I want to put the black on top next and then cut uh, erase back the red. I think I might do that. So let's add the black layer for black fur. Keyboard. All right, keyboard. Thank you. And we'll put K. Oh, uh, it was like, hey, you want to say no aka? No, I don't. I want to say no. Kuro. Kuro means black. Kuro, 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 boy. Uh, that means like blackish. <laughs> Kuroi, that's. Kuroi is black, but it's the adjective. I want the. Oh, right here. I want the noun. Boom! Enter. Done. And we can close that. Clip it. Let's pull this color, whatever the middle color is. So let's see, dark. Ah, it's second dark, so it's got to be this color. Wolf, I'm remembering your tip. Your alt, alt select tip. <laughs> I'm slowly getting used to it. It really is a great tip, but it's hard to, old habits die hard, you know? Okay, yep, it curves all the way around back, all the way around, all the way up her ears, the back of her head is all this black color. to wave. Yay! I'm waving with my cursor. <laughs> when I waved to Exy, I used my hand. <laughs> and I didn't realize it until Wolf came in. And I was like, oh. <laughs> no one can see my hands right now. How are you, Sarah? It's almost the weekend. Okay, 
and this black fur wraps around the ears a little bit but I think depending on the angle so we're looking at this it's almost a three-quarters angle it's definitely not straight on so I think that we would see some black fur here but not over here and now I, th I do think we'd see a little bit on this side though <clears throat> and how about let's just let's do a little bit here yep <laughs> I just did my hand <laughs> I wasn't even thinking. <laughs> I was like waving to nobody in here. Okay, we've got this. She's got these nice big circle eyebrows. Circle patches on her eyebrows, we'll say. Oh, she's looking more and more like herself. Uh, I definitely want to erase away here, but that's okay. We'll just leave that like that. Then this comes down the side. Let me get a drink of water here. Mm -mm -mm. Nice fresh water. Okay, the black comes down and does touch the sides of the eyes. that and you can see a little bit coming in like this okay so we've got this mark here on the front on her neck and then there's a black patch and then there's another cream patch but all on her back is black so we're going to do something like this. It's so interesting drawing Ranger from lots of different angles. Because I've only drawn her three times before I started doing these emojis. So I knew what she looked like as a character, but didn't, didn't um, have to think about the really specific differences based on angle and, and everything. I wonder, yeah, let's leave this cream over here based on this. Again, three quarters, it's kind of three, three quarters instead of straight on. Wave to the pups. What, to my puppies in here? Aoife's under my desk again. She almost always chooses this bed that's in the middle of my workstations underneath, so it's not in my way. <laughs> and Chappie's in here too. She's way in the bed right to my right. It's my light table where I have a bunch of lamps under a glass top table so that I can do tracing. But for the past year or more, it's been just covered in piles of stuff and one of my one of my hopes for this year <laughs> is that I can clean it. And get it tied up. Okay. Let's see. Was I using this? I think this is the same color I'm using for the nosy. Yes, so let's color in the nosy as well. And I will actually cover all the way to the edge of the lines and uh, erase back. Uh -huh, it looks. Look at it. Even this little small square, you can tell that it's a dog. At least I think you can. You can't tell here. This one looks like Loki. <laughs> of these. Or maybe it's because I did a Thor and Loki run this morning. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, what else? I think that's it for base colors because we're not going to be seeing her eyes. The only thing I did think the other day was that I kind of wanted to make the eyes even bigger. I think you just do that. We'll turn the colors off so they're not distracted by that. And because it's a, it's meant to be a chibi, but for these emotes, I've been 
I've not ended up drawing it in as chibi proportions as I tend to because I'm not drawing the whole body and so it's just very easy to forget. So I guess I'll uh, increase the size of this one first. This is something I usually do with keyboard shortcuts. So it's gonna take me a minute to find it in here. Let's see, scale I think. I just usually do, I think it's control T for transform and then you can just click and drag. But my keyboard is currently covered up by my tablet monitor, so. So I'm moving it here, but then looking at it over here. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense to only for for designing a character you have to draw over and over and over to make it really simplified. That's why animators classically gave characters four fingers instead of five fingers, just because it was less stuff to have to make move. <laughs> I remember being mind blown when I learned that as a kid. I was like, oh, that's why everybody has four fingers. It was just a practical choice for the animators. Yeah, almost. Uh, I think that I'm happy with the way this is. And where's my deselect? Ooh, I press enter. I don't have enter on here. Or... Okay, hold on. There. <laughs> I do have deselect mapped. Boom. I think I'm happy with that. I don't even need to change this one. Just make this one bigger. Okay, so now we're going to adjust the fur. Oh, and it's not too bad. There's just a little bit, just a little stuff to erase away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if that also made it easier to animate because it's if it's really big and round you don't have to be so precise with your drawings or something. Okay. Now, is this all the base colors? Pink for red. I oh, oh, but we're not doing that. So, sweet. Don't need to do eye red. So, yes it is. Just three colors on top of the base colors. So let's erase back. So I definitely want to zoom in for this so I can get nice and precise. I can flip my stylus around to erase with the other end like a traditional pencil, but when I'm doing something like this, I like to be able to adjust the settings. So using the front end of the stylus is better for that. Just race away in the black, going outside the lines under nosy. One of the reasons I like to draw to color and then erase back is because sometimes there can be little bitty pixels that you don't notice until you've done so much stuff and then it's like, oh, it just barely wasn't reaching here. And sometimes it disappears when you resize, but other times it becomes more obvious when you resize. So. That's why I like to do it this way. I didn't always do it this way, but when I tried it, I was like, mm, this is so much better <laughs> for the way I like to do things. Okay, so. Okay, maybe here, instead of erasing back, I want to draw out. So I will erase back. Then I shall draw out to get, oh, this way too big, to get fur-like texture. Okay, so I'll probably do the same thing here. Oh, it's much bigger here because we're closer to this side of the face, so I actually want to use a bigger brush.
All right, that's good. Flip that around with that one. I'm smoothing this line out a little bit more round. And it's always so nice on organic stuff like fur or trees or anything. It's it doesn't have to be exactly the same as it ever was because maybe it changed because her her coat grew out or because of the angle or because of the way her fur was brushed today or something like that. I am going to move this back a little bit though. So that I like this to be kind of a round, almost like a blushy, like a little blush. So I pull this back to be more round and then draw it back. Oops, it's small again. Let's make it a little bigger. this back. Draw a little bit more. There we go. That's more the shape I want, especially when I'm seeing it right here. Oh, Satuita is here too. Hello. How are you? I saw a little message on my wrist that said you were done. Thank you for all your help as usual. I didn't see the details of the message though, because I was obviously I'm working on this. So <laughs> I'm actually gonna erase this one back for the same reason as uh, the other side of the face. Let's try to get a little bit more round right here. <laughs> Are you gardening or going on a quest? <laughs> Sarah, that's so kind of you. Ah, <laughs> I like that sentiment. Oh, look, you have a little. Look at this. Oh, cute. Gifter leader one. Sarah is now gifter leader one. That's so cool. Y'all, I'm always learning so much about Twitch thanks to you. <laughs> okay, let's zoom out and see the overall effect. All right, I did all that, and I actually think I want to bring this red all the way to the edge. Because <laughs> this one is so far over here, I feel like over here we would not see too much black. I mean, maybe just a little bit like this, something like this. Yeah, and make it a bit bigger. Haha, <laughs> Santuita can, can use the little emojis too. Yay! I love seeing, at the end of every stream, I get a little report that includes stuff like viewer count, etc. And I love seeing the count for the emotes being used. So it's just so, it's just so wonderful to make a thing and then have it be used like making a thing to be used, it gets used, it's just so satisfying. Okay, this is curving up right here, so I'm going to try to get the same curve going on over here. I keep adjusting, but that's the artist's prerogative. I can just keep adjusting if I want. Why do you do this sometimes, Photoshop? <laughs> she does that. Kiki is my cat. She, if she knows that someone can open the baby gate for her, because we keep the puppies out of the living room area because they sometimes like to use the corners as a bathroom. <laughs> so just keeping them out of there solves that problem. 
that Kiki has her cat tree and everything in there. So it's also, it's kind of like Kiki's room almost. And if someone can open the gate for her, she'll be like, come on now. I know you human, you can open this. Open it for me. <laughs> All right. I'm comparing the two cheeks and I'm quite happy. This one and this one, the roundness, doesn't have to be perfect. I think that this is good. So let's continue uh, both adding and subtracting. I'm going to add a little bit here. And then we shall actually erase away a little bit and maybe add again to match with these lines. Yeah, nice. All right, maybe we'll even do one more. Haha. <laughs> oh, thank you. It is a reference image as usual. <laughs> ah, I know y'all can't see this. I'm gonna allow it. It's so. I have my auto mod on absolute strongest as always. And it calls this swearing, but I allow it. <laughs> and the. The term, the permitted term now, is the peach emoji. It's not the word cheeks, it's the peach emoji. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> uh. On the one hand, I really love the, um, the way I can just easily set it and forget it to keep the chat family friendly, basically. Uh, but then it's hilarious seeing some of the stuff that it, <laughs> like this one, <laughs> allowed. <laughs> yeah, so I guess it's, I guess it's because I'm not trying to keep my streams down to PG. Oh no, it keeps getting blocked. I'm not trying to keep it down to G. I'm trying to keep it down to PG. So that's what we I heard you laughing. <laughs> I heard you laughing upstairs. This is distracting. <laughs> so, so all these are fine as long as people aren't harassing one another with them. The word themselves are fine. Because we're trying to keep it to like the Goonies is what I'm thinking for movies. We're keeping it to the Goonies. We're keeping it to Kingdom Hearts if it's a game. But... <laughs> Oh, okay, so distracted by that. I did not make any progress on this. Okay. Let's just erase away some and make it rounder. I have it in my Discord rules. The, the Goonies thing, the Kingdom Hearts thing. I've been wondering if it would be helpful to put it in my chat rules here or if that's just being too specific because I I think I'm pretty clear in my chat rules and I saw my own chat rules the other day so that was interesting and I joined my own chat and I had to agree to my own rules okay just trying to make this eyebrow shape the same size as the other one with keeping perspective in mind but what I'm thinking about is how close this edge is to the top edge of the head since the head is tilted backwards it, I think this is appropriate so we just need to bring this one up as well whoops wrong side of my stylus Woo. Ah, <laughs> oh, Wolf, nice. Hey, you guys. Oh, man, I love that movie so much. Maybe I'll watch that next time I... So watch Forbidden Kingdom. Uh, Goonies is, oh, has been one of my faves since I was a kid. Oh, watch it so many times. Literally countless times. It's impossible. There's no way to count how many times I've seen the Goonies. I think that's why I love Pirates. 
There's actually hardly any pirates in the Goonies. The only pirates in it are dead. But I I think that's part of the what made me love pirates is the, and I love the adventure. I love that it's a fun adventure. It's kind of like it's in the same vein as Indiana Jones actually, I think. <clears throat> <laughs> Rocky Road. I see something as well. <laughs> yeah, now I want to watch it. I love that movie so much. It's so funny and fun. Whenever I use, I use my blender every day. Well, every work night to make my green smoothie. And I always think of the part where the bad guys are threatening the kid with grinding up his hand in the blender. <laughs> I always, always think of that when I use my blender. Every single time without fail. And I don't live that far away from Astoria, considering considering all the places in the world, I don't live that far away from Astoria. Could get there in a day, could drive there in a day. Okay, so it's just, I'm trying to work layer by layer, but this is making it distracting, so I'm just going to erase away the red to this part so that I can s compare these two eyebrow circles. So maybe what I need to do is make this one a little, maybe a little bigger. But I really like the bigness of this one, so maybe not. Let me bring this down. They, are meant to end at the middle point of the eye. So that's about correct. But yeah, I think actually it would be a little closer. I love that, that kid too who He's always telling ridiculous stories, like talking about puking on... <laughs> I always think about that, too. It's such a an image. <laughs> He's puking on people at the movie theater from the balcony seats or something. <laughs> what the heck? Like, I wonder if he ad-libbed that. I've never looked at a making of or anything. I wonder if he just ad-libbed all of those stories. Oops, wrong side, wrong side. Such a great... Such a great movie. Okay. <clears throat> Realize that there we would still have a little bit more black up here. Because it curves around the top edge of the ear as well. So maybe we would see some here. But this ear is turned more away, I think, so I think it would end there. Yeah, a chunk. I don't remember all their names. Oh, and we've been seeing so many people. Oh, because that one guy is in all of the... He was in Loki. He was in Everything Everywhere All at Once. I think he was in some other things recently, ever since he came back. And he was in The Goonies, too. <laughs> Dude, you could have caused a fire. Especially with old older style analog film projectors. Well, that's, of all of the mischief you could cause, I think that is one of the least terrible. I'm so glad no one has ever puked on me. <laughs> that's, that's pretty bad. It does suck if, did you ever like, and, oh, just into the light. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I get it into the projection. The projection is up. Oh, I got that. I got it. I got it. Yeah, that is so even less. So not even dangerous at all. Just annoying. Just annoying. <laughs> but as a kid, though, you kind of want to see that kind of stuff. Like, I, I, as a viewer, I'd definitely be annoyed <laughs> if a kid did that. Because I paid to see the movie. But on the other hand, I could totally see just wanting to see what happens and and experiment experiment with it with the effect <clears throat> okay 
Our kids are gross. <sighs> okay. I... Oh, there's still quite a bit down here. I'm having such a great time chatting with everyone that I feel like I'm not making that much progress. But it's not like I have some time limit on here or anything. It's more fun to be chatting with you than to just be narrating all the time. I don't mind narrating, but chatting is more fun. Okay, I think I've got to turn my tablet a little bit. It's kind of hard because it's so big, actually. It's hard to turn it. Oh, but do I want to? Maybe I do want it to end right here. That's actually kind of nice. I like this the way it is. Just go like that and make that smoother right there. Okay. Mm, on this one? Let's color this one back in. Yay! Okay, uh, yep, that should all be good. That's good. So let's work on the ears. Okay, so they're quite fuzzy. Oops. I wanted to erase away first. They're quite fuzzy, so. I'll probably do the same thing as I did on the cheeks and add rather than subtract too much on these edges. <clears throat> of course, a lot of this detail will... What is this? There's a little something other here. Oh, look, see, even though I was trying to color to the edge, I still miss it. What is this? Are? Oh, it's a little mist pixel on this one. <gasps> so, okay, hold on. I've got to. Oh, I forgot the alt thing. <laughs> I've got to color this in. Boom! Okay. There. Back to what I was doing. Oh, let's remember the alt thing. Yay! I did it. And I think I want to use a larger size on this side. And as I go up, I'll use a slightly smaller size. Why is it Nightmare Before Christmas? <laughs> it's Nightmare Before Christmas now. I've been thinking I haven't watched that movie in a long time. I got kind of tired of it because it was really, it, like, it was everywhere for a while. Even though it was one of my faves as a kid. But then it was everywhere and I was just kind of got tired. But it's been a while since I've seen it. So I've been thinking about this Halloween season. I'll watch it again maybe. Oh, I said, what's this? <laughs> yeah, that's probably another reason. I just made myself tired of it. I loved it, though. And something I've always been disappointed about is the soundtrack version of the music is not the same as what's in the movie. And Jack's lament is so much more powerful in the movie version, so... I really prefer watching the movie version just to hear the what I it's like I consider it like kind of like the true music <laughs> because the soundtrack version doesn't have that that recording or whatever it is. On the other hand, soundtrack version has um all I can think of is Captain John Luke Picard. No, that's not his real name. <laughs> Patrick Stewart. Sir Patrick Stewart narrates the soundtrack so that's one thing that is good about it so i guess there's a little bit of a trade-off
Danny Elfman. Yep, Danny Elfman was the singer for Jack. Yep, it's not the same. Have you ever listened to the different... Most of the songs sound pretty much the same, so I don't know why they made it different. For... For the soundtrack release. It's very interesting. I never really... I've never really noticed that any other place, either. And I love soundtracks. Soundtracks is my favorite genre of music. But it has to be a movie I've seen. Not just any old soundtrack. It has to be that I've seen the movie. Because Spotify is always like, you're always listening to soundtracks. How about this this soundtrack compilation that has like only one movie that you've actually seen? <laughs> I don't like it just because it's a soundtrack. I like it because it reminds me of the story and I can relive the story while doing other things. Yeah. I mean, maybe they re-recorded the whole thing because of the way the soundtrack is a like a narrated it's like telling the story again. It's not just the recorded music there for you. Okay, I did that, but I don't actually like that. So let's bring this down. So the thing is here, I've got this way thicker than it should be, and I can definitely erase away here to make this little oval bigger. But I think I also need to bring this black part up. <clears throat> so maybe we will get the little triangle that's down lower on her vest. On her vest? On her chest. <laughs> on her puppy vest. <laughs> Let's just do a few hatch marks here for the transition between fur colors. Do the same thing here. Oh! If you heard a little kind of dong sound or something, that was Aoife knocking her hand against the leg of the table. Made like a bell sound because it's a hollow metal leg. you go okay wanted to just erase this down okay back to the black fur though so I think that's good so this part so the way I've drawn it and the reference I'm looking at over on my secondary monitor this space is about the same height as this space. So I think I actually have this good. It does need to be a little sharper because it goes down in like a V shape. Just bring it all the way down because it's so close. Bird, like a generic bird, flying bird shape. Like a curved V. That's pretty good. It's a little, a little large now, so we'll cut it back. Make it a little rounder. I don't want it really sharp because it's meant to be fur patterning, so it wouldn't be super sharp. <clears throat> All right, I think that's good. And this part is likely to be cut off anyway when it gets formatted for emoji purposes. So we'll just leave this like this. Maybe have a little bit of something right there. And like, yeah, it's 
do that. And that should all be black on her back. And I did the ears. I do think I want to put just a little thin line of black here. After all. Okay. I don't need that tip. <laughs> I don't turn the tips off because I do want the tips to pop up for tools that I rarely use. It would be nice if there could be like, don't show this specific tip. <laughs> so I know what layers are. <laughs> I don't need help with layers. Okay, I'm looking at the overall image. I think I'm done with adjusting black. At least until I adjust the red there should be more white, more cream color here. So let's move on to the red and then we can come back to the black. Let's just start at the top with the ears. Definitely erasing away here. And we'll just kind of do the same thing. Oh, wrong color though. Oh, yay, did it. Did the alt trick. Do the same thing, adding in little strokes to get the idea of a fur texture. Okay, maybe not that last one. <laughs> this side. struggling with how to do this side. <laughs> okay, I've got to do it like this. They've all got to go up. There we go. Okay, face. So she should have white connecting this part underneath the eye and then above the eye should be connected. <clears throat> Switch to the eraser because as I thought I need a bigger size so it's easier to change the size this way. And then the cream part ends basically at the outer corner of her eye. Over here you won't see it connect, but you can still see where it should end and such. And maybe to enhance that happy, happy eyes look, especially once it gets smaller, I will adjust the red to shape up. Normally it's just going down the way it was just now, but I will shape it up to repeat the shape of the eye. 
and hopefully once it's smaller, that will add to the look of a happy, happy expression. Let me bring it down smaller. Mm, I don't know if that's working. I don't think it's having the effect I thought. So maybe if I bring it up even higher. Try that. I see what it was like before I did that. That was before. I think I do like it better this way though. So now maybe I need to make this bottom half also curve up to really get the effect I want. be a little too thin but I do think I'm getting closer to what I want what I want it to look like take so much off the outer corner. It's a little too much. Bring that back. Oops, too much, too much. Don't take so much. Don't take that much. Okay. Yay. Okay, drive safely. <clears throat> okay. Now I think, now that I've done this, I want to bring the black fur down. Because now it feels like it's w the red is way too high. So I'm going to cover it up with black fur. What if I... Whoopsie! No, that's not what I wanted to do. What if I do this? And then erase that like that. No, I don't want it to be past the eye. So actually, we'll just keep it like that. Maybe we'll even... Take the red down like that. Hmm. Oh, I need my red back. Red back. How's this? I'm gonna drink water. Oh, 
and it's break time. It's actually perfect because this is a little harder to to manage than I expected. The, the way the face is, the chibi proportions, and trying to get the markings to fit in. So taking my break now would be a great idea. Though I realized I don't have a digital be right back thing. I have not made uh, the animation that I think would be really nice to have. So the idea I had was get this all big again and then put a new layer, put it on here, and just type be right back. <laughs> be right back. Just make it giant. Well, it's not very easy to see though. I have the solution for that. <laughs> okay, I am going to take my five minute break and I'll be right back.
I'm back. I am seeing your amusing comments. <laughs> I'm glad that it wasn't something wrong with my stream, and that if that it uh, got fixed for you by closing and reopening. Uh, give me a second here. I my hands are super dry because I got my little veggie snack and I needed to wash the mini bell peppers, and my hands are super dry for some reason. It's, I mean, my hands are naturally very dry, but this is so bad that I really. I Really need some lotion. It's on the verge of becoming painful already. Okay. Got some lotion on. Oh, get my little glove on. I love this artist glove for doing digital work because then my hand glides smoothly across the surface of the tablet. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Hopefully it won't. That's that's like terrible timing <laughs> for that to happen. Okay, I've got to move my stuff back around too. I got to get my push my keyboard back so that I have room to bring my tablet forward. And the cord makes a dragging sound. And there now, I'm ready to get back to work. And it is really great coming back with fresh eyes because I was feeling really uncertain about this part that I was working on, but coming back to it, I think it looks good. Maybe just a little bit on this corner, add a little bit more red into this corner, but otherwise, just so it's a bit smoother of a transition from the side of the nose to under the eye. Oh, <laughs> everybody, everybody went on break. Sweet. Yay. So now I just need to make the other side match. Oh, shoot. I was just drawing on the wrong layer. No. Why would I do this to myself? Okay, hold on. It's an easy fix as long as I did not draw on those lines, which I didn't, thank goodness. So pro tip, you can just take this little select tool, the lasso tool, then you, um, where's my copy button? It's this button. You, oh, not copy, let's cut. I'm not on the right layer, okay, hold on. Cut. All right. And this trick I learned only recently relatively recently considering how long I've been using Photoshop you go to there's some sort of keyboard shortcut but I just go to paste special in the menu under edit and then paste in place uh, oh and make sure you change the layer where you want it to go boom <laughs> some people do that some people do that and it's more like traditional style painting you don't have layers when you're doing a, a physical media painting for the most part I mean you could make it a layered painting that would be cool kind of like collage but you're painting each layer <laughs> okay so oh and then now you can um how do I merge down merge down and you merge down and there I'm back where I wanted it to be so as I said let's make this match let's get on the Oh, let's get on the eraser tool. Whoop. And then the... Oops. Oops. Why, why is it not? Oh, because I'm not on the... Yeah, I have to be on the brush tool, and then I can use the alt to select the color. There. Mm, okay, I need the black to come down. See, it's coming down right, right about there, so actually I'm going to bring it back up a little bit. That. And then we'll go on the red layer. 
bring this up to the corner of the eye like it is on the other side of the face. Just adjusting a little bit. Okay. Wow, it looks so different. I got distracted looking at my own stream on my, my secondary monitor. The red looks very different. Well, not very different, but it's on the screen I'm working on. It's more of a orange tint. Not that it's, it's not meant to be orange, but it's just more orangey. Interesting. <laughs> Sarah, you're, you've got the very basic, everything is very basic for you. Use one layer. Red is red. <laughs> basic and simple. That is not what I wanted. I want black color. Black fur color. Boop. red and erase away a little bit here and then add more oh it's a bone color again there <laughs> there this is just always how it goes for me I do those kind of mistakes all the time yeah, since it's digital it's not that big of a deal okay make this very small and look at it. See what the overall effect is it with it being very small. That's all right. So I think this is like the smallest it'll be. Something like that. That's what I was trying to get. Let's try it small again. That's alright. I don't even know how layer works, Photoshop. Thanks anyway. No mistakes, only happy accidents. Indeed. Especially with digital work. <laughs> you could really not. The only mistake you could do is like wipe your hard drive or something and even then you can have cloud backup I do have that it's not a it's not a 100% kind of thing sometimes the backup doesn't work and it doesn't tell me or whatever but I do have a subscription to a cloud backup service because my art is my career so it's it's all goes digital eventually no matter what the original media was so let's see I think that's good I think that's good. The next part of the red that needs to be adjusted. I'm just making sure I didn't color anything. Look, if I take the red away, she looks like a husky. <laughs> okay. This little oval on her chest needs to be bigger. So let's work with that. Just erase it until it's bigger. And there's no special meaning behind her markings other than some of my favorite colors. And I used, I looked at a black and tan Shiba Inu picture to kind of get an idea. And then I made more elaborate marks for her. So Ranger just is my looks cool mascot. She's a stylish mascot. And my favorite colors, red, black, and silver. Oh, she's not silver, she's cream. See, maybe this would even be... Uh, I don't know. Okay. Like that. It's 
quite thin at the most extreme points of this oval shape. Okay, now I'm going to bring it back. <laughs> yeah. She becomes a husky. Just take the red away. Whoa, my PC is suddenly... My PC is having a hot flash. The fans are, are suddenly spinning very hard. You know what I have not done in a while? At all? This whole stream? Save? <laughs> I just saved. Maybe it's because the fans suddenly going uh, made me think, what if my computer crashes? <laughs> it wasn't an active thought, but it just it came into my head like, maybe I should save. Okay, calm down. Hot flash over. Good computer. It is a kind of a big ask to have the PC take on this streaming and recording the stream and running Photoshop and running Lazy Nesme Pro, which is I always have it when I'm doing this kind of work in Photoshop. Oh, plus my browser, which is also playing the video of my stream. And the computer's been doing this for over an hour, so. Okay. I think that's good. I think that's good. The only part I'm unsure of is this little section. I think I'll just... Okay, I'll do something like that, but I need to... Let's see. Oh yeah, let's erase. Oh, that's not eraser. Let's erase. Maybe if I just bring the black up right here, that'll be, that'll be enough. And then bring the red back. There, that's fine. Oh, Eva came. Hello, Eva. She enjoyed some tasty cucumbers with me. Just realized that this side I did not fix up. This is not this is not how I want it. Oh that helps. That helps just doing those little those little, little boop boop marks. But it's too, it's too close. I don't want it to be that close. Put the little boop marks, boop boop marks. We're getting there. Something like that. Oh, that's better. Yes, I figured it out. I figured out what I wanted to do there. Maybe we'll even take the eraser now. Make some little white ones going in. Yay! 
But now I don't quite like the other side. <laughs> it doesn't matter too much, but... Oops, I'm on the wrong layer. Whoopsie! Oh, it needs to be smaller. Smaller eraser. Whoops. There. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Something like that, okay. Maybe if I erase into the black. What's this airplane? Is it because of the flying sounds from the <laughs> tower? From the PC tower? No, I don't like this. Let's take it all the way back the way it was. Maybe I just like it like that. I think maybe what it is, the black is going up too high compared to over here. It's on the wrong layer. Okay. A fan went off again. <laughs> yup. Yup, it does that. Nande. Oh, because I'm on eraser. That's good. Let's just keep that the way. So let's make it small and I think that's good. Hee hee hee. Aw, see they cute cute and happy. Am I finally done putting base colors on? I think I might be. Time for some shading. I'm going to put on some chapstick real quick. The flavor is pumpkin spice. This is one I just, I, I'm super dry. I'm a very dry person. And so I keep chapstick everywhere. So this is the, like my little dedicated studio one. Okay. Nani ga hajimaru ka. Let's start with the cream. And so this is the base color. Let me, let me see. Space color, shadow, shadow. Okay, so let's pull this first shadow color. And it really wants to tell me about layers. All about that base. <laughs> I've not heard that referenced in a long time. It's a song, right? Let's see. I want to. Let's see. I've got. Hold on. I've got to think for a second. Okay. So I made the lighting appropriate to the pose. The lighting so far in the two that I've made, this one, well, you can't see that that well, but <laughs> this one, is the lighting is on the face, lighting the face as well as possible. And I think that probably makes sense for what the final purpose of these images is. So I think I'll have the lighting be hitting about here, almost like this one. Oops. And lighting is hitting here and lighting the face evenly from above. 
So we'll do the same thing. Having it hit right about here. There's those shadows down here. Okay. So next thing, so these are clipped to this layer, but now I want to start locking the pixels of each layer because that's yet another way to keep your coloring from going off. So I'm going to be working directly on the layer and not making new layers for this shading and stuff. And I think I already pulled the color, so let's just make the brush a lot bigger, a lot way bigger, not bigger than that even. Yeah, that's good. Start filling in. I think this would actually have more light on it, but since it's probably going to mostly get cut off anyway, and plus it's going to be tiny, <laughs> I'm just going ahead and filling it in. And the, so if the light is coming like kind of this direction, the muzzle will be definitely casting a shadow on the rest of the face. And I'm just going to do really basic, basic shapes for the shadows to start and then we can refine them later. Even the side of the face and the front of the muzzle because the light will be hitting here so that means these areas will be actually darker and not getting quite as much light. And then this part I think will be in shadow just because of the roundness of the head. Let's make it match on this side. Oh, it looks good. And then, oh, all my stuff is still down off of my screen because of the because of opening a different folder to get this oh I took it away <laughs> to get that other image to see how the lighting was on the other emo that I've done okay right right I can't do eraser now I have to start switching between colors oops I forgot about alt oh well it's okay Now, around the eyes, there should be a little bit of shadow. That's good. And then definitely in the ears. Because the ears are three-dimensional going in almost like a cone shape. Let's make the chin all the way dark because we got a second shadow color to use. Oh, my mason is so small compared to the <laughs> compared to the brush. You bigger eraser than that. Oops, that's uh, I'm still an eraser. Well, I'll, I'll erase this real quick. I like areas like this to be a little rounded. I think it adds to the, f the fluffy fur effect. Oh, it was just erasing, I think, but it didn't erase the pixels because they're locked. So that's good. Yeah. <laughs> I forget how to do my own technique sometimes. I forget what I'm doing. This will probably disappear when it's shrunk down, but 
I wanted to include that because I feel like it really enhances the... So we've got this repetition of these curved lines from the, the mouth curving, and then here we'll have this little wrinkle here. The pattern on the face is curving up and then the eye is curving up, so... Just like this whole effect is going on. Oopsie, I did it again. I can't erase. I need to switch between colors. So I think what it does, if you erase when the pixels are locked, is that it erases to whatever this bottom color is here. So if this was reversed, then it would erase to this color, whatever one is here. So that's actually something I could use to my advantage. If I could remember that that's what happens, and I don't remember, so <laughs> that's why I just try to do it by switching colors. I want these toofies to be catching the light, so these ones I'm adding some highlights back. And I think some reflective light here would be nice. Yeah, just leave it like that. All right, let's work on the ears a little bit. fans are thinking about having another party. PC fans. I think that's good. Oh, I want to bring a little bit back here, actually. part is bugging me a little bit actually still maybe that is better yeah I like how that looks better Call that bar good. Hold good. Now I'm just looking at the image in this uh, in the navigator here. Just seeing what it looks like overall. I think I'm pretty happy with. I guess this. I do actually want this to be darker here. I 
Okay, let's bring in the second level of dark color. So we'll definitely put it here at the bottom. But we'll just leave a little bit and do some hatching lines. as a sort of transition so that it's not just completely dark down there. That's why the erasing thing doesn't work for me, because <laughs> it doesn't have three colors to choose from. Got to remember to switch color. Okay, make this a little smaller. And shading on the bottom of the mouth, the lower jaw. Do some hatching for some transition. Though I want to make these a little bit bigger. These hatching lines. Excellent. reflected light again right here and let's add some darker shadow in the deepest part of the ears good. Oh, tiny bit more, tiny bit more. Oops, wrong thing. Whoopsie, whoopsie. good enough. It's going to be all tiny when we're done, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So the next thing is adding actually highlight color. And that'll be hitting like right around here, just like in the image we were just looking at. So let's just get a really big brush. I think it'll also have a little bit of it here on the muzzle. Though I think I need to make the brush smaller for that. <laughs> Whoops! Took away the one I wanted. Ah, no! I hate it when my 
So I like control Z and control Y to be what I'm used to, but sometimes Photoshop changes on its own what they are. And like control Y is now changing from CM, uh, C, CMYK, CM, CMYK, I think, um, between that and RGB. And I don't want it to do that. I want it to be redo. That's what it was forever. Don't change it. I have to go in my settings and fix it and stuff. Okay, that's good. Definitely want to add this highlight color onto the two feet just to make, regardless of whether it's that realistic, it just helps them stand out have the brighter color on them. Of course they're so small, it might not make a difference once this is all resized, but there. Oh, I just realized <laughs> Photoshop gone wild. <laughs> I just realized I did not add any shading to these teeth down here. They really need them because they're looking so flat. There. Uh, maybe a little bit on this one, too. Uh, no, actually, I don't want it because it's making it too busy. I'll just leave it how it is. That's good. Okay, I think I've got everywhere where I want some highlight color for this layer. So we're done with the cream layer. Yay! So time to do the pink tangy. How are we on time? We've got 15 minutes left. So, this is the base color, or this is the base color? No, this is the shadow color. Shadow color number one. And it'll, ah, I did not lock the pixels. Gotta lock the pixels. And then you can color it. So a lot of this tungy will be this color because it's just gonna be shadowed by the mouth, by the upper jaw. And then down here the tongue is Casting its own shadow on itself, kind of thing. And then that little divide in the middle of everybody's tongue, that should also be shaded. I think maybe this part hanging over would have some shadow too, because the lights coming come from kind of straight up and down. So here I think maybe some light will be coming in the side. Like right here. Tongue is hanging down. <laughs> so cute. Okay, next color. I love these small areas because it's very easy to do. Having the same kind of feelings as on my illustration yesterday where it's like, for some reason in this like, we'll call it like the last quarter. If you divide a project into quarters and it's the last quarter so you're almost done. But it's, that's the time when you, you rebel against it. <laughs> it's your own project and everything but you're like, ah, I don't want to work on it anymore. No, me, you must finish. And it's definitely a psychological thing because it's the same amount of time working that I've done on other days when I was really feeling it. And it's just the stage of the project always ends up doing that for some reason. Oh, should I put a little bit on the edge here? I think I shall. Just a bit. Right there. Maybe a little right there. No, I don't like that, actually. <laughs> okay. Now the highlight color, which is almost white because it's a... Uh, the tongue, especially, is an indicator of the liveliness of the character, and so I feel like it should definitely be a nice and moist looking, so that means shiny. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, 
We make this tongue nice and shiny and alive. Okay. So we're done with the pink. Hooray! Let's do the red. I would really love... I figured I'd be able to finish this today. So I'd love to at least get all the shadows on. And then it doesn't take very long to color the lines. So I think... I could just do that while the video is uploading from today's live stream recording. Okay. So actually, no, no, let's do this. Oh, lock the pixels, make the brush bigger. First level of shadow color. I was gonna skip to the second level because most of this is that color, but here there would be some. And this is a kind of fun part because you can use what you've already shaded as a guide for what to shade on this color so that they're matching so it's a little less work a little less mental work Boop. and a little bit here uh, yeah a little bit here Oh, I got confused for a second, but this is highlight color. So this is all standard color. This is all standard color. Okay. I'm gonna switch my color. I gotta remember to use the alt trick. It's such a good trick and I keep forgetting. Okay. Holding my finger on alt. brush smaller for this area. Just making it really fuzzy. Fuzzy, fuzzy ears. I don't like that line right there, though. Okay, that's good. Okay, second second shadow color. Oh, wait, here's a good spot where I can tell. Sometimes it's hard to tell <laughs> which color is which. Bigger brush. I will say it goes like, just do it like this and then maybe we'll do a little hatching. For transition maybe just like right here a little bit darker colors here and I don't think any of this second level of uh, shadow is hitting anywhere on the face so, highlight color. Oh, welcome back! Satuita is back! Most everybody else seemed to check out too when you left. You brought the party with you. <laughs> okay, highlight color. Definitely on the nose. This is the biggest part where there's light hitting. And I'm going to put a little bit up at the top of the ears. Oh, good. What was it? The alternator? I think you were saying it was the alternator. I'm glad it got fixed. So that was the same problem I had with my Mustang forever. Going through so many batteries and then it's like, this can't be the battery. We have done it and it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've gotten quite quite a bit farther since you left. Boom! Time for the black fur! Yay! Ah, good. Yeah, that 
when at the point when you said the truck was running and then you what was it you used the electric window roll down and then it died like and that can't be the battery it can't be the battery it was already running So glad you got it fixed. Ah, I did not. I did it again. <laughs> lock, lock the pixels, me. Don't forget. Ooh. Okay, all of this will be the dark colored fur. And I might bring back some, though, because, um, uh, for reflected light or what or whatever um but let me think about these little spots i think that we would have some shading around here that's small enough i think so oh that's weird turn signal makes the battery go down super weird. yeah Save up. Save up for the road trip. Oh. Some crows are chasing each other outside of my window. That was cool to see. Oh, only six minutes left. I want to get this done. Wait, I think I've got the right color already. Haha, -ha, I do. Excellent. Wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's smooth this. Make it smoother and rounder. Smooth and round. That's what chibis need to be. They need to be smooth and round. Oh, wrong color. No. There. Bring that back. And I think there might be some... Oh, well, let's wait until we finish the darker shadow, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Changing my mind about stuff as I work on it. Oops. I don't have the right color on. No, maybe the... Maybe this little line is enough. Right there. Oh, so that makes sense then. I get what you're saying. So it was running directly from the battery, and that's why... Cool. I don't see any more right now from my, my side of the house. Crows. I know I'm saying I want to finish this and then I'm easily distracted. <laughs> Four minutes left. We're so close to done. Nosy time. The nose is always so hard to shade, actually. It's such an intricate physical feature on a dog. On a lot of animals, actually. I suppose it makes sense because the animals I'm thinking of that have the intricate noses have extremely good senses of smell. Oopsie, wrong color. These cats are similar and they also have a really good sense of smell. All right, that's good enough to get get uh, be getting on with. 
just a little light here, hitting the bottom part of the nostrils. Oh yes. Okay, let's go ahead and, okay, no, I changed my mind. <laughs> we keep being ready and then not ready to, okay, that's good, to get this darkest color. I think I won't be able to finish. That's okay. So we can just work on it some more next week and definitely be able to finish because there's hardly anything left to do. Let's see, so I have the darkest color going all the way down here. big brush. Well, we're at time, so let's stop here. Made really good progress, though. And there won't be too much more to do, so I might have the opposite effect from last week. Or last week, I finished the physical media work so fast that I switched to digital in the middle of the stream, and that worked much more smoothly than I expected, so might do the same thing next week, going back to physical media from digital media. So, this is where I'll leave you. Third emote almost done. Just have the rest of the black to shade and highlight and then color the lines. Add white highlights, then transform it into the emote slash emoji and we're good to go. Yay! <laughs> Look at them all in there! Look at them all in there! <laughs> Yay! Love seeing them in there! Okay. Yep, I shall. Oh, Eva's. Uh, Eva wants me to get up. <laughs> She's pushing me, push me around in my swivel chair. Okay. Oh, I know. I'm not just gonna end my stream. I remember my new thing that I'm doing. Let's find someone to raid. Raid someone for 30 minutes while I'm uploading my video. I mean, uploading my video takes longer, but 30 minutes is the amount of time I have for my follow-up work. So let me go over here and see. So, um, let it open another instance of Twitch, I think, and see if there's anybody that I am following. <laughs> Bob Ross is going. There's recommended channels. Well, let's just raid this person from yesterday. They're up there at the top of my recommended channels. Margot Simone Art. So let's see. <laughs> we can raid with the emojis. Yes, I realized that I can use my own emojis. <laughs> my emotes. <laughs> That's really fun. I didn't realize that that would be a fun side effect. Okay, so can I 
just copy this? Nope, I have to type it. Ugh. Oh, but the chat's already open. Excellent. So, getting better at this. Learning how to twitch. That's funny. <laughs> Learning how to twitch. Okay. Marco Simone Art. Boom. The raid has been created. The countdown is going. Okay. Here we go. Yay. It worked. Okay. For anybody still on my channel or watching this recording later, I am going to end. I hope you have a great weekend. Thank you for watching.